Hello guys and welcome to another video of my quest system series. In the last one we started to build our find template and today we will enhance the system so that we can also pick up items before we actually accepted a quest and we will still be able to complete the quest because currently that would not be working. For that we have to make some minor changes to the way our system is working currently and to start let's go to our blueprints, actors, quest manager, then go to the add new quest function and here we'll have to rearrange our notes. We won't add any new ones but the order here is important. So after we added it to the current quest actors we first want to call the add quest to list. So we'll drag that over here. Let's disconnect the pin by all clicking it. Then we want to set the local quest actress quest widget. Afterwards set up the starting goals. And then we will update the quest. Now compile and save. Then we will close the BP quest manager. Go to our quest actors, BP master quest. And here we will have to add some events and functions. So let's go to the event graph first. Right click add custom event which we will call on goal completed we won't add any functionality for that right now but I just wanted to create it so that later we can also have quests that are a bit different than other ones for example that you have to complete all of the current sub goals to proceed and if you don't want to give the player a specified order in which he has to complete the task it's good to have such an event here we'll also add one input called goal index which will of course be an integer compile save that then there are some functions we have to create first one is really easy and will be called goal add index it will be a pure function, really important. It will have one input of the type integer called index and one output of the type goal info, which will be the goal. The only thing we'll do here is drag in our quest info, break it, expand it and get from the sub goals at the in index. Afterwards return that really simple compile save the next function will be called goal already found question mark so that will only be used for our find template it will also be a pure function it will have one input of the type integer called index or goal index and one output of the type boolean just call that out also we will create a local variable local bool so we can use that in this function what we'll do here is get the goal at index connect our goal index break it and we will check whether our type equals equal enum find and a branch for that connect the branch to our goal already found if it's false we will just return with false if not we want to get our quest manager under the do not touch category get the third person char get his obtained items or obtained objects and off of that we'll run it for each loop with break connect that to the true we want to check whether the array element equals the goal class from our goal at index similar to what we did in the last video add a branch if it's true we will set our local bool to true and afterwards break out of our loop add some reroute nodes and when it's completed we'll add a return node and return our local bool okay pardon save that one the next function we'll have to create is called add goal for index 
again we will need an input of the type integer called index and it won't have an output we'll promote the index to a local variable called local index then we will call goal already found for our local index and add a branch for the fourth path let's actually go to our complete sub goal function because here we're doing exactly that just adding one of the following sub goal indices select everything up here and the get node hit control c let's go back paste it connect the add node here to the fourth path and instead of our get node here we will call go let index for our local index and then we can move over the pin by control by holding down control and dragging it over we move the get node here and let's align those also connect the local index to current goal indices All right the other parts should be working afterwards return and let's maybe move everything a bit down so we have enough space for our true path when it's true meaning that goal was already found we need to complete that so let's drag in our completed sub goals add to it for the element we will make completed goal goal index is our local index goal info is goal at index from our local index and we will check successful afterwards we will call on goal completed and plug in the local index and then we also want to break our goal at index because we need to check whether there are some following indices so drag off of our following sub goal indices run it for each loop and for every of our following sub goal indices we will add goal for index connect the array element and not the array index as the index right when it's completed we will return File and save. Now we also have to modify our complete sub goal function. So let's go in there. First off, we don't need all of the parts that we added here, so remove them. Instead, we want to call add goal for index for each of the following sub goal indices. Again, connect the array element and the loop body. Then we will add some space here and call our on goal completed. Plug in the local goal index and compile save. Get an arrow here. We have to drag in our quest manager, get the main widget and get the journal widget. Then connect it to generate sub goals and save and the last function here that we we'll have to modify is set up starting goals we can remove the set current goal indices keep the starting sub goal indices select the rest here move that down here and we will run it for each loop for all of our starting sub goal indices we will add goal for index again make sure to connect the array element as the index and not the array index after it was completed we can proceed with what we did before. All right, that was all the setup that we had to do in order to make our find template completely functional. Now we also need to test whether it's working. So let's hit play. If I get my first quest, it says find the mystical cone. We can press E to pick it up and it was completed. But what we can also do is pick up the mystical cone and afterwards speak to our NPC and as you will see, the quest starts with Hunt Spiders. If we hit J, check our journal here, we will see that Find the Mystical Cone was completed, so that's working. And the last possible scenario would be that the Find quest is a following sub goal of one of the other quests. So let's set it up like that. Go to Quest Test 1, 
starting scroll down to starting sub goal indices we will set that to zero now then go back to your entry number zero here and the following sub goal indices will be one two and three let's remove two and three and instead we will add them to element one here so the following sub goal indices will be two add another element type in three so what should happen now is that when we start our quest we first have to hunt our two spiders then we have to find the mystical con and then the other two ones are added check whether that's working if we just get our quest regularly okay first goal is to hunt spiders zero of two let's kill those that was completed. The next goal is find the mystical con. So let's go over here. Press E to pick up. And we've got our next goals. But the question now is whether that's also working when we picked up the mystical con before. Pick it up. Get the quest. And now what should happen is that when we kill our spiders the find mystical con sub goal should not appear but the two following goals of that and that's what happened if we take a look at our journal it says hunt spiders was completed and find the mystical con all right our find template is completely functional and working without any bugs right now so we can proceed with the talk template in the next video see you then